Hello, YouTubers out there. This is Jerry Sarvi at the Movies. The next time that you hear about an actor or director on a film set losing it with a violent temper, uh, which we've heard stories of this uh, in the last certainly 10, 15 years. Uh, for example, the situation with Christian Bale on the set of Terminator Salvation, where we heard a, a, a recording of Christian Bale getting upset, I believe, at the cinematographer of the movie because he couldn't focus and he, he went into a rage. Um, and we've also heard problems with regards to I Heart Huckabees and uh, the issues that occurred with the director whose name escapes me right at this second and Lily Tomlin uh, certain other actors in that film so you hear stories like this You've certainly there were stories back in the um, well there's stories all through all sorts of films particularly made in Hollywood uh, not the least of which would be you know uh, Roman Polanski and uh, the furious uh, arguments that he had with Jack Nicholson on the set of Chinatown. So you hear all these stories, but you know what? The next time that you hear any, know that nobody comes close to Klaus Kinski, the late Klaus Kinski that passed away in 1991. And when you see this film called My Best Fiend, which was released in 1999 and was directed by Werner Herzog, a uh, German film director who's worked with Klaus Kinski on several iconic films, particularly Fitzcarraldo or uh, Nosferatu the Vampire uh, or Phantom of the Night, I guess, depends on which title. Uh, Cobra Verde and Aguirre the Wrath of God and Wojciech, I believe it's called. Uh, know that nobody can come close to Klaus Kinski. And this film really details that uh, in broad strokes, I, I guess you could say, because there's no real insight into what made Klaus Kinski the type of person that he was. This man was a madman. And he was a madman off screen and a madman on screen. I still believe this is one of the very few actors that I can think of whose eyes were as threatening as you can imagine. I mean, I don't know of anybody else that comes close to that sort of presence and state of mind. Um, I've never known to, you know, for, for Klaus Kinski usually to be uh, subtle. Nuanced, possibly, but not necessarily very subtle as an actor, which I think is kind of the point. He, he just brings on this menace and they had issues, Kinski and Werner Herzog, and also a tribe, an indigenous tribe, when they were shooting the film Fitzcarraldo in uh, Peru, not far from Machu Picchu. And let's just put it this way, the indigenous tribe had issues with Kinski. They didn't like somebody flying off the rails. I mean, that's just the least of it. It got to the point, it got so ugly, that Werner Herzog famously said he would shoot him. To the point which that tribe had said, we will kill Klaus Kinski for you. That's how maddening it was. And when I say broad strokes, I mean, to some degree that's true. It's just, I think the issue with My Best Fiend, which is a powerful documentary, it's very powerful. But my issue is that we didn't we don't quite see if this guy was we don't see enough of the idea of whether he was always a maniac or just some of the time. The impression we get is that he was always a maniac. He was always on. But with the lead actresses that he worked with, Claudia Cardinale, for example, with uh Fitzcarraldo and the Oh my goodness, the other actress, Eva Matez, I think is how you pronounce it, from the film Wojciech, is that he got along with them. 
he he did uh, Kinski did exhibit a calmer side a much more caring and nurturing side with the women but with men he was volatile and he could fly off the handle over anything Kinski wanted all the attention for himself this is according to Werner Herzog on the making of the film Fitzcarraldo which was also partially profiled some of this in the documentary made of the film Fitzcarraldo called Burden of Dreams. So Kinski wanted attention and he wanted it all the time. He felt all the attention should fall squarely on him. And there were problems and accidents on the making of that film Fitzcarraldo. But he, he always thought, well, unless it's reflecting me, he wanted to... Now that could have been either A, his method acting, which I don't really know he had use that very much or b he did was mentally unstable which is more likely the case either way the film doesn't quite get into that uh not enough it's sort of hinted at but it's not really explored um just how mad was klaus kinski and kinski wrote an autobiography that apparently was mostly false <laughs> showing Werner herzog to be the true madman and not him when in fact maybe it took a madman to work with a madman but Werner Herzog didn't seem to be that mad a person, not compared to Kinski. So um, the film is definitely worth checking out. It's called My Best Fiend. And if you like Werner Herzog, particularly as a filmmaker, he's a very good filmmaker. He's made some wonderful movies. And if you're uh, quite interested in Klaus Kinski, I would say definitely worth checking out. Interestingly, there is um, footage, I believe it's from the Telly, uh, Telluride Film Festival from back in, I don't know, what I guess it was the early 80s. And you see Kinski, uh, there's like a reunion with him and uh, Werner Herzog. And Kinski is smiling and just very low key and uh, very friendly. So it pinpoints, you know, is it only when they were making a film that he just went off the rails? Was it purposely? Was he also mentally unstable? Whatever the case may be. Um, the film opens with this, uh, what was called a Jesus tour uh, that uh, was a one-man show, I guess, with Klaus Kinski, where he basically says Jesus was not always about peace. He would spin the faces of all of you and this and that and the other. It got so bad that he had to be taken off the stage. So whatever, <laughs> if that was all acting, it's really something. Obviously a very intense actor and a very intense uh, man. So um, anyway... Next time somebody mentions, oh, this actor went nuts on a set or a film director went nuts on any recent productions or anything you've read, no, they don't come close to Klaus Kinski. And in particular in the making of uh, not just Fitzcarraldo, but Aguirre, The Wrath of God, which was the first uh, film that Klaus Kinski made with Werner Herzog. Klaus Kinski apparently also went off the rails on other films, but those are not really being explored in this picture. So clearly, it wasn't just working with Herzog that, where he would fly off the handle. It was uh, other pictures as well. So uh, anyway, check it out and uh, tell me what you think of Klaus Kinski or Werner Herzog. Are you a fan of either one or have you seen their films? And what do you think about Kinski? I, I got to say, he has the most penetrating eyes ever. Uh, I, I think the first film I'd ever seen with Kinski was Nosferatu way, way back in the day. And he was scary. Uh, you know, you watch him, he's just, he has that stare, that intensity that just comes through no matter what. Um, anyway, tell me your thoughts. If you've ever seen this documentary, it's certainly worth checking out. And uh, I believe now it's on 2B TV. 2B has a lot of interesting films. Um, they do have ads, so you sort of have to contend with that, which is not always fun. But nonetheless, you'll find some fascinating films that uh, many of which I've not even heard of. Werner Herzog's films, uh, there are quite a few of them on there. So tell me your thoughts. Have you ever seen any of these pictures? And what do you think of Klaus Kinski or Werner Herzog? Or do you think there are some other actors who have been far worse than even Klaus Kinski? I'd love to hear about it. I, I may not know. I don't know. I certainly don't know the <laughs> behind the scenes of every single production ever made. So uh, those are my thoughts on it. And uh, I guess that's all i got to say for now. And please subscribe to my channel if you like what you hear. And this is Jerry Sedevia at the Movies, signing off.